is time for another tier list and this will be my last one in a while because obviously I'm going to have a baby very, very, very soon, probably sooner than we thought. So hope this one's good because it's gonna have to tide you over for a little while. Today we're going to be ranking found footage horror movies. I cannot believe I have not done this already before. A lot of you suggested this uh, over the, you know, tier, many tier lists that I've done. And I can't believe it's taken me this long to do it because anytime I get a chance to talk about found footage horror movies, I want to do it. In case you're not aware, you're new here, uh, found footage horror happens to be my favorite style of horror movies. They never get old, whether they're low budget, no budget, high budget, it really does not matter to me. If it's found footage, I am in. So this list is going to have over 40 movies. I think this is one of the biggest tier lists that I've ever done. But also this is going to give you my entire found footage master list. So you're gonna have 40 plus movies that you can watch if you're in the mood for a found footage horror movie, of course. Now, a lot of these movies, in fact, probably most of them are streaming, but if you're struggling to find where they are streaming, then I highly recommend the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. NordVPN makes it super easy to find any movie streaming because it opens you up to every other country's streaming service selection with just one click. So if a movie is not streaming in your country on your streaming sites, all you have to do is change your location to literally anywhere in the world, refresh your streaming site, and it's just like your in that country. I use this all the time, especially when movies are removed from my streaming sites in the US. It makes it so convenient. More importantly though, NordVPN offers the best protection to prevent cybersecurity threats. It has multiple different tools such as two-factor authentication as well as dark web monitor to let you know if any of your information ends up on the dark web. And NordVPN also protects you from the most common type of hacking, which is password attacks and credential stuffing. So if you are someone who uses the same email on multiple accounts, whether it be your Netflix, your Google, your banking, which makes it so much easier for hackers of course, to hack multiple of your accounts, NordVPN has your back. And they also offer NordPass, so if you are concerned about trying to keep track of all of your emails and login information and passwords, they will help you not only create unique passwords, but also store that information so you don't actually have to remember it. You can use NordVPN on up to six devices with just one account, which is fantastic because that means all of your technology is protected with their threat protection. So make sure you click the link in the description down below to try NordVPN. VPN out for yourself, or you can go to nordvpn.com slash possessed by horror to get the two year plan plus an exclusive deal and four bonus months for free. And they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's really no risk to try it out for yourself. So because we're doing over 40 movies in today's video, we had to have five tiers. So for the top tier, these are the creme de la creme of the found footage horror movies. We have what I'm gonna call perfect recipe. Now you really have to get the recipe right with a found footage movie for it to be effective for everyone. Now a lot of movies fall into this category for me but I'm going to try my best to be a little bit more selective because I know not everyone appreciates a cheesy slash bad found footage movie. So next up we have Hidden Gem. A lot of them fall into this category because not everyone knows about all of these found footage movies. So this category is probably gonna be the most important in this video because these are gonna be the ones that I highly recommend, especially if you've seen everything else, which leads me into my next tier, which is All Else Fails. So these are movies that are fine if you've seen everything else. They're not gonna be the standouts. They're not gonna be the ones that I recommend that much, but if you've seen what you think is everything out there when it comes to found footage horror, then try these movies. They're not gonna be perfect, but they'll be entertaining. Next up, we have a category that I'm going to call ban it. Self-explanatory, ban, get it out. Get it out, get it off the internet, get it out. Don't watch it, which means you're going to watch it if I put it in this category, guaranteed. I just see it now, <laughs> which is fine. They're not necessarily bad movies, but I personally can never and will never watch them ever again. I have a feeling very few movies are actually going to fall into this category. I, ha I It's reserved for a very small select few. <laughs> and lastly, this category is a little bit long of a title, but let's see if it fits. I couldn't think of anything and like how to condense it. So we're gonna say no budget. Like what, what is it doing right now? No budget, we can tell, we can tell. Obviously these are, in my opinion, the worst of the found footage movies. They're the lowest tier. <laughs> Again, not all no budget found footage movies are terrible. Just like the Blair Witch Project was made on like $50,000 and returned camera equipment. So you can do it successfully, 
but this one I'm gonna be a little bit picky on and some will just fall into that category. Okay, first one, kind of a random one to start with. The Sacrament. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I should have started with a bigger one, but this one's fine. Now, if you are interested at all in the People's Temple or Jim Jones and what happened with that situation, I used to be more interested in that kind of stuff, but I just cannot do true crime anymore. This is clearly kind of inspired by it. Some may say it's in poor taste. It might be a little bit exploitative, but if you like cult movies, obviously, this is a good one to watch. I don't think it's too much of a hidden gem, although I will say it is done by Ty West, who of course brought us Pearl and X. So he was a little bit more of an underrated director before those movies, and so maybe not everyone knows that he did this one. And then Eli Roth is a producer on it, so I feel like there's some big names associated with it. Does that make it a hidden gem? Probably not. It's not perfect. I'm not gonna put it in perfect. I'll put it in when all else fails. It's a solid found footage movie. It's just not going to be everyone cup of tea. Wow, we're just starting off with really weird ones. What is this? I thought this would be a little bit later, but here we are. <laughs> be My Cat, a film for Anne. If you've never heard of this, uh, uh, this one stumps me. No, I know exactly where I'm gonna put it, but it, it just is a enigma to me. First of all, the director is very kind <laughs> and uh, will respond to your letterbox review and even responded to my talking about it on my channel when I did like a monthly recap once I did watch this uh, there's no way I could watch this now being a little bit more sensitive it feels so real that it makes it highly disturbing but it is so low budget I feel like it's not going to be effective for everyone I don't mean this in any harsh way but I'm gonna put it in ban it because I think this one is highly highly disturbing again super low budget but it just Something about a low budget movie with this kind of concept makes it that much more disturbing in my opinion. But give it a try if you've never seen it, just be warned, just be warned. Next up we have GM. Where do you think this is gonna go? How many times have I talked about this on my channel? Hmm? Anyone still haven't seen it? What are you doing? Why are you watching my videos and you haven't watched this movie? Now I did recently rewatch this and made my partner watch it. He did not find it scary. So there you go. But again, not gonna be perfect recipe for everyone. To me, this is like the epitome of a perfect found footage movie, minus the first 30 minutes being a little bit long. But once they're actually in the asylum, perfect. Next, we have Unsane. This is shot entirely on an iPhone. I think like an early iPhone to like nine. I'm going to put you in Hidden Gem. It's definitely one that I don't think a lot of people know about. Um, it kind of deserves to go in All Us Fails as well because again, it's not like the best executed movie. I mean, it is shot on, on an iPhone. It's very low budget, obviously. And I don't know if the performances are like super great, but for the sake of this video, it's definitely a Hidden Gem. Next, we have Afflicted. Oh my god, this movie's so good. This movie's really good, <laughs> and I really thought I was gonna put it in Hidden Gem, but I think I gotta put it really high up, honestly. It's one of my favorites now. It's like slowly become a, a high favorite. Again, I told myself I'd be a little bit more particular with the top tier, but I just I have to do it. I have to give credit where credit is due. That movie is really great. I will say though, for Afflicted, you probably will need a VPN to access it. That's how I did it. I believe I found it on UK Tubi or something like that. And I use NordVPN for that, so just so you know. Next up, we have The Conspiracy. This is another one if you love cults. Cults and conspiracy theories, obviously, based on the name, you could pro probably have guessed that. Uh, you're gonna really like this one. I feel like no one really talks about this, so you know what that makes it? A hidden gem. Again, it's not going to be the best recipe for everyone. Not everyone loves conspiracy theories or cult type movies, but I think when it's done in a found footage style, it could be really, really cool. Willow Creek. This one is so good, but that's gonna come with like a disclaimer that not everyone is going to love this. This honestly does deserve to be in the bottom tier as far as like no budget we can tell. It's clearly no budget. There's no budget going on <laughs> with this movie. This one just works so well for me though because of the uh, like 20 to 30 minute ending that is done in one take. It feels so real. When you get to that point, it's you cannot look away. And it's, it's just very effective, especially because it takes place so close to me. They filmed it really close to me. So I recognize like the wilderness and the type of 
area that they're in in California. Never thought a Bigfoot movie would really get to me. Like I, I never thought it would be effective for me, but this one is. So it does deserve bottom tier, but obviously it's not a bottom tier movie. So we're gonna put it in hidden gem. Just get ready for some low budget greatness with that one. Next we have probably the most recent, no, this isn't the most recent one actually, but this one did come out this year, uh, Incantation. This one was really great on Netflix. I was a huge fan of this. Some of the images were so disturbing. Uh, trypophobia is going on. There's so much like visually disturbing images here. Part of me, I don't wanna put it in perfect recipe and it's not a hidden gem. I feel like a lot of people know about it. It's just on Netflix. I'll put it in All Else Fails, but that feels like a little bit of a, a detriment to that one. Like sometimes I corner myself a little bit with the tears that I make, so. Sometimes we gotta compromise. It does, it, 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 there was like a tier that was between <laughs> perfect recipe and hidden gem. That's probably where it should go, like deserves to go, um, because it's more than fine. But yeah, next we have Wreck, another foreign film. Uh, a lot of people, you know, there's this debate between Wreck and Quarantine, which Quarantine is on this list too as well, don't worry. So this one, I know exactly where I'm going to put it. Perfect recipe. I think this one is great. It's obviously very well known in the found footage genre. Anyway, but Wreck is definitely growing on me. I think earlier on in my channel, I had said that I liked Quarantine more than Wreck and that was very controversial. And I understand that. So I think Wreck has all the great elements though of a found footage horror movie with the tension and genuine fear and genuine scares. Next, Lake Mungo. This one is scary. It's just not as scary as I think a lot of people make it out to be, at least not for me. Maybe I didn't watch it in like this, the best setting in the world. There's some more movies on this list that is that's the case for as well, but I don't find it too disturbing. Maybe some people would put it in ban it, you know, cause it's like, it really got to them, but I'll do when all else fails. I know that's, that's a, that hurts some people because sometimes this is like their favorite found footage movie, um, but it, it's fine. It's a solid, solid movie. Don't get me wrong. I just think it's a little bit overhyped. Next, Cloverfield. Man, when you take a really popular movie, I don't really know where to put this one either. Uh, it's not perfect to me. I love Cloverfield, but is it perfect? Not really. You know, it, it goes in solid as well. When all else fails. I did not think I'd be putting this many movies in that category. Uh, and especially not those. I did not really anticipate Incantation and Cloverfield to be in that category, but it fits, whatever. I'm gonna go with it. Ah. As Above, So Below, classic uh, found footage horror movie. I know exactly where this is going. Everyone knows it's great. Let me know if you don't like this movie. I'm really curious about that, um, but we're going in perfect, perfect recipe. Now, I don't love the acting in that movie, but generally and story-wise, visually, it's a really good one. The Bay, this, oh, I know exactly where I'm putting this. Um, obviously it's done by the producers of Paranormal Activity and Insidious, as it says, um, by Barry Levinson, but I still think I'm gonna put it in this tier, a hidden gem. I love The Bay. It's just, if you want like a water movie, if you want nasty, like gross, crawling under your skin type of movie, watch that one. We haven't gotten to the original Blair Witch, but sure, let's rank the remake or the re the sequel, the 2016 one. <laughs> this movie is so underrated. It's so underrated. People think this movie is so bad, but when you watch the last 20 minutes, come back and tell me it's bad. This movie does what the original one doesn't and shows you so much in the end and then people complained about that. I think it captured the essence of the original in some capacity while making it modern, while also showing us genuine horror and like being able to actually see what's going on. The budget was obviously higher. So I hate to do it. It's, go it's going imperfect. I know, don't worry. The original probably has a place up there as well, but I gotta do it because it just deserves to be above all else fails. I mean, most people are probably gonna think it's one of those, like just, it's fine, but I'm gonna lean into the fact that it's really underrated and put it in perfect just to underscore that. Evidence. Uh, this one's questionable. It's it's okay. <laughs> this is probably gonna be our first, our first bottom tier movie here. You can definitely sense the no budget on this one <laughs> and the editing is what really gets me. If they simplified the editing, this one would be fine. It would be like Willow Creek, you know? There, it has its moments where it's really good and some points where it's really bad. This movie goes into such a weird uh, place that I don't really know how 
to even describe it. Did not see anything coming, uh, but the editing gets me and the flashing, I can't do it. Now, Phoenix Forgotten, this one. Again, no one really talks about this movie. <laughs> not everyone's gonna love it. Uh, I am I know where I'm gonna put this one. I feel like aliens uh, found footage. I feel like we don't get enough alien found footage movies, to be honest. Um, you should watch Phoenix Forgotten. Next, we have The Den. This is a found footage movie that is taking place entirely on a computer screen. So there's a couple of those movies as you probably expect to be on this list. And it's a unique type of technology horror movie that is still considered found footage in my opinion. And this one's pretty good. Um, it's definitely, I don't love the acting in it, um, but it's a really unique idea not that realistic but if you're scared of technology or like you know with computer screens and all of that this one would probably be effective for you we're going to put this in oh is it a hidden gem or all, all else fails it's not terrible it's a, it's a decent movie. It is kind of a hidden gem though, so I do recommend it if you haven't seen it. Speaking of computer screen, we have the classic, most famous probably computer uh, found footage movie of Unfriended. Again, underrated. I feel like this one is not appreciated enough and I have you know, gone on rants in the past about why this movie is so good. You know what, I have to have a computer one up there. It's going in perfect. I know. Listen, I should be more picky. I said I was gonna be more picky. I'm not. We're, we're putting it up there. Man, the top tier is really just gonna be really full of this video. It's really hard because I love a lot of found footage horror movies. Like it doesn't take much to impress me with the found footage. Uh, taking a Deborah Logan, fantastic. The visuals in this will stick with you. It is so good. Obviously it's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I love everything about this minus the fact that it utilizes an old woman as the horror and does the stupid trope that I really don't like of old woman being scary. Like that is a trope we need to be done with. Like just cause there's someone who's old and naked doesn't mean it's scary, but this one has more going on. There's like more story there. Hell House LLC, classic Halloween movie. I think this has worked its way out of hidden gem. I don't think it's a hidden gem anymore. <laughs> Everyone talks about this movie around Halloween, of course. Uh, it's a constant rewatch for me every year since I've seen it. So I'm gonna put it in all else fails. It's, it's good, but it's not top tier good, you know? And I don't think it's a hidden gem anymore. I think everyone knows about Hell House and everyone recommends it. So we're putting it in that tier. Deadstream, this is the most recent found footage movie. Again, this one is going to work for some. It's going to be very annoying for others. There's another very annoying uh, found footage movie on this list, but I bet you can't guess what it is. It also came out this year, uh, but Deadstream is compared to that one because of the super annoying protagonist. I wasn't obsessed with this one. It was okay. <laughs> I think I'll put it in All Else Fails. I'm being really nice in this video. Like I could have put so many in bottom tiers, but like I said, there are very few of those probably. Yeah, I don't recommend Deadstream for everyone, but obviously if you haven't seen it, it's, it's, it's fine. Okay. The Poughkeepsie Tapes. This is one that I saw a long time ago. I actually did a react video to it. Don't go hunting it down. It's pointless. That video is pointless uh, because my friend Sarah and I did not watch that under the proper circumstances and made fun of it the whole time and it's very annoying. So don't watch it. Um, I didn't watch this in the, in the right setting. So I do want to revisit it, but I'm nervous that it'll be a little bit too disturbing for me right now. This one, I'm gonna say ban it. Again, it's one of those that feel very real and uncomfortable. Now, obviously I say that even still knowing that when I watched it, I laughed at it, right? Um, but hindsight's 2020. I know that this movie is quite disturbing and it, it did, it does get to you. So some of those images in there, I still think about. One day I'll rewatch it and let you know how I feel about it. Okay, next we have Noroi the Curse. This is an underrated gem. It's it's underrated. Now this one though is very long. Uh, do I put it in hidden gem? I don't know that it's a hidden gem anymore either. Like I feel like a lot of people talk about this one. All else fails because again, it's not perfect. It, it drags on a lot. It's a lot about this journalist and we get very few scary scenes, but the ones that we do get are in fact very scary, so. Okay, I didn't do sequels for all of these movies, by the way, just some that have like a handful of movies in the fr either franchise or just has like one sequel I included. So this we have Unfriended Dark Web. I just realized I saved the French 
uh, movie poster for this, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't love this. I actually really don't like this movie. It's not super low budget, but it's going in bottom tier. I'm sorry. I guess you can kind of tell the budget isn't super high because they cut away from every single scene that might have a little bit of gore in it. So they don't actually show you anything. Some could argue that the first one does that, but I think the first one does it in a way that we see enough and the concepts are a lot more disturbing than that one. Dash cam, <laughs> this is the other one that annoys a lot of people. And that's fair that I totally get that criticism uh, because the main character is obnoxious and horrible and that ruins it for a lot of people. It didn't ruin it for me personally. I still really enjoy this movie a lot. I think it is absolutely like a fun ride. The horror in it I think is really good and underrated. I'll put it in all else fails. I think it's great but yeah, it's not perfect. You know, it, it doesn't, it's not gonna be for everyone. I need to like move some of these over because this getting pretty full over here. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. Okay, next up, we finally have made it to a classic. Gosh, how long did that take? Uh, Blair Witch Project. Like I said, it's probably going in the top tier. You knew that though. This is like exactly how you do low budget or no budget found footage movies in my opinion. Everyone knows that though. I don't really need to get into it of why that movie is so good. It's a classic. The House is October Built, uh, another Halloween type movie. This one is going to go in All Else Fails. <laughs> I really did not anticipate this category being the most. Might have to start being more harsh. I don't really, maybe I should have came up with a sixth category of bad ones. I don't know. It really takes a lot for me to not like a found footage movie. Like it takes a lot. So just know this entire list is biased. Next up we have Creep. Again, everyone knows about this movie, so definitely has moved its way out of underrated gem or hidden gem rather. And I think it is now, you know, in a top category. This one is so great. It's going imperfect um, because I think the formula is really good. Now it's not as scary because I don't think they intentionally went into this movie wanting to create something really scary. They ended up, you know, switching gears along the way from making a dark comedy to a horror movie. So I think it lacks some horror elements because of that, but it's still effective in creating that tension from a horror movie. Another classic, Paranormal Activity. Uh, now this one, I what language is that? Why do I keep saving these foreign language posters? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Now I honestly don't think Paranormal Activity is like the perfect recipe to be honest, um, because I mean, it was new. It was a new type of subgenre within a subgenre, you know, of found footage. So I appreciate it for what it is. Do I put it in all else fails? That's not what I thought, where I thought I was gonna put Paranormal Activity in. Or do I put it in Perfect Recipe? Is it? I don't think it is. I think it's an all else fails kind of movie. It's just so widely loved and hyped that I wanna put it higher, but this is my list. I love them, don't get me wrong. I think they're great and I love the uniqueness of them, but they're not perfect. Okay, next up we have <sighs> Megan is missing. I hate that I'm gonna talk about this for a second because I told myself I would never speak of this ever again, uh, much like many other disturbing movies that I cannot even say the name of anymore. <laughs> for some reason, this review of mine is one of my viral videos um, and it went viral again or like started getting more traction when people were talking about this movie on TikTok. God forbid that children are talking about this movie. I can't even believe it. Obviously this goes straight into the ban it category. Please get it, no. This is just one of those movies that I don't think should ever have been made. Um, it's not super great anyway, like on a technical level, but it's just so shocking and so disturbing that I just, I can never, I don't, I don't even wanna talk about it anymore. Let's move on. Grave Encounters 2, what a fun one. I feel like this one they took, did we even rank the first one yet? <laughs> I haven't even ranked the first one yet, but we're going with the second one now. I think they took the elements of the first one and made it even more camp, but in like a really fun horror way. So I really love this movie. We get to see more of the monsters in this one, which I love. Anything with a wide mouth, sign me up. This one's in Perfect Recipe. I love everything about the Grave Encounters uh, duo. <laughs> I, I just think they're a lot of fun and they offer a lot of horror in my opinion and they're genuinely scary. Next we have VHS. Now I only included the first one in this. I'm not going to do the entire franchise because now there's four of them. Five, four of them. They're making a fifth one. These are really a cool concept. Um, so the recipe is good. You know, the formula is good. I like the concept of 
what these movies are, but I feel like they never deliver enough. You know, they never, they're, they're missing something. And sometimes they make it disturbing um, in a really weird way that isn't my favorite. Like the first story of this uh, movie in particular, who are we rooting for, you know? So these are in All Else Fails, just in general, the whole franchise I'm gonna include in All Else Fails. Next we have The Gallows. This one's a tricky one. <laughs> and I think it's funny because I didn't like this movie when it came out and I own it now. It's chilling over there. So not really sure what changed or why I felt like I wanted to own it. Didn't they make a second one? I don't know that I've seen the second one. Is this a hidden gem? Is it a hidden gem? <laughs> I don't know that it is, but I'm gonna put it up there anyway because I'm running out of room, so. It's not perfect, but it's fine. It's a fine movie. It's sure it's a hidden gem, we'll call it that. The Tunnel, definitely, I know exactly where this is going. This is an Australian movie, highly underrated, hidden gem all the way. If you could track that one down, definitely watch it. Um, I got my hands on the DVD of it, which you'll see in my DVD collection. I explain a little bit of the story of that and how I finally got the DVD of the tunnel. But yeah, I think it's really great. I highly recommend it. Here we go. The OG Quarantine. Again, I think I have to put this up there with its original in Perfect Recipe. It's not a perfect movie by any means, like comparing it to something like Blair Witch in my opinion. Um, but I really enjoy Quarantine and it was my favorite above Rec for a while. Okay, finally, we got Grave Encounters. <laughs> Even though we already ranked the first one, obviously you know where this one's gonna go as well. Man, I'm really, this isn't a fair video, is it? Obviously we knew this would happen. We knew this is how it would be balanced in this video because of my love for found footage. And I think they're all perfect, except for the, the bottom five so far. I think they're all great. We're down to like four more, okay? You holding on? You ready? The Last Exorcism. Again, it's perfect. It's perfect. I love this movie so much. I love everything about this movie. I... <laughs> I'm out of room. I'm completely out of room for perfect. This I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. Listen, I'd put it in hidden gem if it was indeed more of a hidden gem, but alas, it is not. Oh, here we go. Something to go in another category for once than the perfect recipe or all else fails. We have The Visit. I hate this movie. I have rewatched it uh, recently. Still hate it. I don't like it. It's M. Night Shyamalan's probably worst movie that I've personally seen. Um, I'm gonna say ban it. It just is annoying. I, it's annoying. Again, it has that trope of like old scary people. Just the fact that they're old makes them scary. And M. Night loves to, I'm not gonna say anything because it's gonna spoil the twist in this movie. Um, but old people aren't, aren't scary, I'm sorry. Not in this movie. I get what he was going for. I just hate it. I hate the horror in it and it doesn't work for me. Next up we have Host. This one has, you know, since been said to be the scariest movie. Um, ever, <laughs> which I don't agree with. I like it. Um, I think it has been done before, obviously with Unfriended. This is very similar. Um, it's so funny to watch this now because the COVID uh, references in this, I think are kind of funny. <laughs> I recently rewatched this uh, and the scene where some girl runs to the other girl's house and they meet up and they, it's COVID, so they can't hug, even though they're just witnessing like really horrific things go down and they have been alone for so long. They do elbow taps, you know, uh, as like a little, hey, we can't hug, but we got our masks on. And it was just very strange because the restrictions obviously have lifted so much. And I'm not saying that in any way, like, oh, they shouldn't be wearing masks. I'm not getting political or like, anything like that. I'm not trying to say that, but it's just funny seeing it now because obviously if you went through that situation now, you would hug your friend because you're scared out of your mind. So the fact that they maintained like COVID <laughs> restrictions after like dying people, it was just, it was funny. It's really good though. I like it a lot. I just don't have any room for it. <laughs> so I don't want to put it in perfect. Uh, put it in hidden gem. It's not a hidden gem, but it just needs to go in top tier. You know, it's not gonna go in all else fails um, because it's better than that. And obviously people know about it if they're ranking it as the scariest movie of all time. Okay, next up we have, this is the last movie actually. This is the last one of Devil's Pass. Very random one to end on, but we started random. We're ending random. Would it be a tier list of mine without that? Probably not. And luckily, 
I have space for this one. <laughs> Devil's Pass is a hidden gem. It also kind of deserves to go in all else fails a little bit because it's not great. Like I don't think it, it holds up to like host. So having them right next to each other is a little bit strange to me, but it's really hard to rank found footage movies because I love so many aspects about them just given the fact they're found footage alone. So that one kind of all else fails, hidden gem. You take with that what you will. You could go track it down, watch it. I think it's fun. So there you have it. I think that's like 41 movies uh, ranked, 41 found footage movies. Obviously I recommend most of them. So hopefully this gives you some you know stuff to watch. I will link the master list of these movies on Letterboxd down below so you have like a full list of this or you can screenshot this but they're a little small. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed watching me rank my favorite type of movies. That was definitely a challenge, one of the harder ones. Um, probably one of the more annoying ones for you too because they're all ranked really high and I don't have too much negativity. <laughs> Nothing really super bad to say about a lot of these movies. So let me know what your favorite found footage movies are down below and any that I have not put on this video means I have not seen it. So make sure, besides like sequels and stuff, I've probably seen, um, but make sure you leave some recommendations down below now that you know what I've seen and the fact I love the genre so much. Obviously, I want to watch everything. So leave a comment down below. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you soon. Bye.